In this lesson, we will add our circuits to a power panel. Over here in our electrical room, we've got um, different um, electrical panels. And what we're going to do is um, add these circuits to the power panel uh, PP1A. So I'm going to hover, tab, click that circuit, and then I'm going to say um, panel, and I'm going to grab the PP1A, which is right there. Okay, and it's going to show you a home run circuit there, tab, click, PP1A, it looks like that one's already done. Tab, click. And there it is. Funny that one, it was already there. Must have been practicing again. Click on here, tab. Tab, click. Sometimes it kind of flukes. It looks like it, it has a panel associated and then it kind of um, goes away. Sometimes I find it difficult reading these. And I think that's just the case of the PP1A panel is full. We'll have a look at that panel schedule uh, as soon as we're done here. Let's tab to pick this. Go back to our panel schedule. Let's go PP1B. Sneak it into there. Hover, tab, click. And that one looks like it's already. Let's do this one. Tab, click. PP1B. Let's see. There it is. Okay. Once again, 1A isn't showing up on there. Click out. Hover, tab, click. See how that, that did try to tell me it had a panel PP1B. There it is. Good. Click out. So we've taken all our circuits and we have added them to the panels. Grab this guy. Oh, he doesn't have one. Um, I don't believe 1A is available anymore. PP1B. First floor is the one. You can see that showing me in a panel that's over here in our electrical room. It's one of these guys, most likely this guy, PP1B. You can see the blue battery limit that goes out to show you where that is. Watch tab, click, and you can see that that is that guy there. There's my PP1A. So let's do a schedule of PP1A. We can click on the panel itself. We can say edit panel schedule. If there isn't one already, you can say create panel schedule. There already is one there. But if you want to, you can just go to here panel schedules. They're already made and PP1A, which went off our list, double click, and we can have a look inside of there. Okay, and I'm presuming that that um, panel schedule was full, and that's why it did not show up on our list. So that's our panel schedule. Once again, you can pick on the physical panel in the uh, plan by just selecting it and then you can say okay show me the panel schedule for that panel and it's going to give you the information nothing used in that mp1b so far back to here so there's our outlets our circuits and our circuits connected to two different panels on the main floor